Hi, I am Tamin Garcia, the Lord's servant, and what you're gonna hear right now is about the gracious love of God and His love when I just keep my tongue in silence. So this is spoken word, poetry piece is dedicated to my one and only King and His name is Jesus. So I entitle this piece, When I Met Jay. I have read countless stories, stories of life and death, of pain and happiness, of sacrifice and suffering, and most of all, I've read a lot about love. Says love is sacrificial, says love is blind, says love would take every risk, says love is martyr. I dream of knowing that love that talk about. I dream of becoming the center of that love. And I tried to chase after this until I found that I was losing myself in the process. When I was running for love, I am running out of it. I began living in those made up stories, trying to create my own plot, trying to direct my own play. When I was in the process of searching, love itself damped on me from the person I haven't expecting it would come from. And I realize that what I've known about love is wrong. That unconditional love won't come in the form of men, of flowers, of chocolates. My true love came with blood, with wounds, with crown of thorns, and with nails. With every picture that is far from what I'm dreaming about. The romantic ideas in my head were washed out. It was replaced with something. I cannot explain love in words. I was merely asking for love. What came is more than what I am asking for. Life and love. My story of love wasn't what commonly everybody hears of. I left no shoes while running because I never tried to run from him. He ran from me. I ate the apple and fell asleep and revived in one kiss. Because just a drop of his blood, I was raised from the dead. I wasn't one through flowers and sweets, I was caught through his lashes. I haven't heard I love you a hundred times from his lips. I've just heard his painful groan enduring for my name. And in a sudden, I am complete, that missing puzzle in my life is him. What I missed out for seventeen years were poured out in his right and perfect time. And that is now. It is really good to be in love, especially to the man who left his throne and died for me and now lives within me. My man is in dress and coat and tie. His dress and everything that he knows would tell I am his princess and he is my one and only living prince. <laughs>